Hey, what's going on guys? In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how you can make an awesome banner in Photo Piece super easily and for free. So without further ado, let's get started. As always, the project link will be in the description down below, as well as the graphics used in this video if you want to use them and follow along with what I do. But anyways, let's get started. So click new project once you're at photop.com. Now go to the width and type in 2560 by 423. And at the end, we're going to be changing it back to 2560 by 1440. But for now, we can work on this. Now download the graphics folder in the description below and drag in number 17 that's what it's going to be called and we're going to be using this as the background so hold shift to drag it like that where it's proportional and do whatever you want with it this looks good now what we're going to do is type in some text so go ahead now what we're going to do is type in some text. So go ahead and go to your text tool over here and type in your name. I'll do Canvas. Control A to select all of it and turn the size up. I'll do 250. So it's a pretty good size. Now I want to change the font. So I'm going to find a font I like. Cedric Avenue display. That's what I used to the last tutorial. But it looks really cool, so I'm just going to drag that to the center. Now double click on that text. Go to gradient overlay. Click on the gradient box and change this color to a lightish red. Here's the code. And turn this one to a dark red. Like that. Hit OK. Now go to inner glow, change the blend mode to color dodge and change the color to white and leave it as is, or you can mess with it if you want. Actually, yeah, that looks a lot better. So I turn the spread up to three and the size to 15 looks really cool. Uh, you could try satin, not sure how that's going to look. A dark satin. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So enable the satin, change it to a red to about here or whatever color, like a lighter shade and also darker. Hit OK. So it's looking really good so far. Here are the settings. About 50 opacity is uh, good enough. Now go to stroke, turn the size to about 11 and change the color to black. Add another stroke, change it to white and size 11 or no, turn it up to about 16. That looks pretty good. Um, it's preference if you want any stroke at all, uh, but it's completely up to you. I'm going to for the sake of this tutorial. So the text is looking good. Just hit okay now. Now go to the file in the description if you haven't downloaded it already. And I'm going to be using Mixo 1 from that. It is the particle effect. I'm going to hold shift, make it bigger to about here. And change the blend mode to screen. And you can move it around if you want still to your liking like that. Now we're going to blur the background layer. So what you want to do is you want to click on your background layer, hit control J. Now there's a copy, go up to filter, blur, radial blur, leave all the settings the same, hit OK. Now go down here to this rectangle with a circle in it. We're going to add a raster mask on that so we can unblur it a little bit. Now go to your brush tool. Make sure this top color is black. Go ahead and go with the soft stroke and turn the size up quite a bit to where it's like this size. Now, when you start to 
left click, it starts to unblur a little bit. Just start to do that. Just a tiny bit. And if you want to add it back, turn it to white and you can add that blur back. But I'm going to turn that down. If you want it to be not as strong, just turn the opacity down. Now what we're going to do is go to our very top layer, go down to this half circle and go to curves. Click the channel drop down menu and go to red. Turn it up here and leave this one up. Go to green. Go up on this line and down on this line. And blue, go up on this line, down on this one. So now if you hide this layer, you can see the difference. It really blends it together. And that's going to be all for this tutorial. I really do hope you guys enjoy this. I hope this helped you. If it did, leave a like and subscribe. The links are down in the description if you want to make this yourself or just use this as a template. Completely up to you guys. If you want to see more like this, let me know and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.